Hey everybody, John Hayes, Tasting Indie TV, and I've got a treat for you today. So several years ago, a good friend of mine, Randy, he's a restaurateur, chef here in town, uh, told me about a guy who had moved from Indianapolis, went up to Chicago, learned the art of charcuterie and whole animal butchering, and then came back here and opened up Goose the Market. Couldn't wait to try this place, and it's been one of my favorites ever since. Anytime I'm down in the Delaware 25th area, I stop in here, so let's go see it today. The first thing that hits you when you walk into Goose is an amazing aroma. You look through the meat case and it's a smorgasbord of food that you don't see most places. Mortadella, about a half a dozen salamis, whole prosciutto sliced thin, they have duck prosciutto. I don't know how many artisan cheeses, but there's stuff that you don't see in your typical cheese market. Lomo, capicola, cured smoked salmon, terrines, it, it's almost endless. Molly and Chris Ely are the owners of Goose the Market. Molly was generous enough to give us an amazing tour of her shop. Hey everybody, uh, I'm here inside uh, Goose the Market with Molly Ely, the owner. Her and her husband Chris own this and they also own uh, Go Smoking Goose, yep. where you guys are actually butchering and selling the meats out. So at Goose, they specialize in charcuterie, which is the process of curing and aging meat. This is where you get salami, pastrami, capicola, etc. In addition to all the charcuterie they have, they also have an amazing selection of fresh meats, cheese, a lot of artisan dry goods. This is a small shop, so we really try to do a really well mm -hmm. curated collection mm -hmm. of everything that you need to, to cook sure. a meal. Um, but maybe take it up a notch. So we've got yeah. some beautiful finishing salt salts. We've got sure. some pastas that are imported from Italy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Molly was nice enough to take us down to their Inateca, which is an Italian word for a place where you store and sell wine. So down here, this is what we call our Inoteca. Um, it's an area where adults can come and have a glass of wine, maybe share a cheese and charcuterie board, um, grab a bottle of wine to go home with or um, enjoy here. We have specials every day. We had a cheese charcuterie board that she set out uh, that had salami and capicoli, French style sausage rouge. Okay. Typically when we do these types of cheese and charcuterie boards, we um, mm -hmm. put things near each other that pair well together. So sure. um, like this uh, Bavarian mustard that we make mm -hmm. is goes really nice with our bologna. I, this, this is, is the bologna? Beef, yeah, that's our beef bologna that you were looking at upstairs. I was dying to try that. Yeah, those are, uh, it's a really great combination. And then we buy these um, really nice sweet and spicy pecans from grab a local a um, lady who makes um, so grab a confections. So do you eat this stuff every day? I can't um, imagine you going to a Taco Bell when you have this here. <laughs> we right? try not to. I, I mean, we do. Um, this God is loves my, Taco Bell, so yes, don't put yeah. me on your hate list, right? But <laughs> This is my favorite way to eat, um, yeah. just snacking and uh -huh. um, just trying a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, you know, I eat a lot of it. We, we eat it pretty frequently. And yeah. I think especially in the summertime, mm -hmm. this is a really nice meal because it's light. You don't have to turn your oven on, you yeah. know, hardly any yeah. dishes. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> they also have a lot of great sandwiches at Goose the Market. My favorite is the Goose, which features a lot of their meat. The other is the Batali, which is actually named after Mario Batali's father, who brought charcuterie to the United States. It is spicy. It is decadent it is everything you would want in a sandwich yeah okay. so that's my favorite sandwich which is called the goose um it's mm. i love prosciutto mozzarella i love that combination together and it's just so simple um and the and bread the, is so good yes yeah amelia's just mm -hmm. got named one of the top 10 bakeries in the country mm -hmm. so um yeah they do it the right way they make it fresh every morning and when it comes to us it's still, mm. it's still warm so, really beautiful. The mozzarella, the ham, mm -hmm. the saltiness of that ham, the basil mm -hmm. in the middle of that. It is so good. Bread yeah. is crunchy outside, soft on the inside. Yeah, they do a really nice job. I mean, this makes me think I'm in the south of France. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's I stopped it's at a really little good. roadside yes. cafe or somewhere, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, and the Batali, this one has won um, several awards. Um, it was named Bon Appetit's best sandwich in the country. Mm -hmm. Molly did pair a great wine with this. They will do that for you as well. If you come down and you are buying certain meats or sandwiches, they have the experience to tell you what goes with your food. Okay. We also have some Rioja. Rioja, um, okay. Yeah, here uh, for you. 
this is not Indiana tap water. This has got to be some <laughs> some artisanal crafted water or something. Everything here is done so well. I'm gonna give this one a shot. <laughs> you know I do. Yeah, it's a good one. Okay. You can't come here and not try the batali. It's kind of a staple. It's a messy sandwich. You just gotta go for it. Yeah. It's not one you want to take and eat in the car. Mm -mm. You gotta eat that here. Although I would eat it in a car. <laughs> There's so much going on. Yeah. Well, you get the, a lot of vinegar mm -hmm. in the jardinier. Yeah. The heat, the tomato sauce balances that out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the salami is prominent in there. Yeah. Again, the bread is just right. crispy. It's not like it's not like the baguette you buy at the grocery store. Right. I mean, that's real bread. Yeah. Right. And there's a difference. There yes. is a difference. Yeah. That is. Yeah. That's beyond good. That's that's excellent. Yeah. If I worked here, I'd weigh 900 pounds. <laughs> John, are you eating another batali? No. <laughs> Mm -mm. Tell me about some of the things that you have coming up. Sure. Um, I know Thanksgiving's right around the corner. Yep, so we are um, getting ready to, or we just launched our um, Thanksgiving ordering, uh, which we do every year. So we get um, turkeys from Gunthorpe Farms, mm -hmm. which is in LaGrange, Indiana. They're all natural. He raises them just for us. Um, mm -hmm. And um, they're beautiful turkeys. They're fresh, never frozen. Um, and then also at Smoking Goose, we make a smoked turkey. So we take his okay. turkeys, we brine it, and we smoke it over apple wood, um, which is a great way to um, simplify your Thanksgiving dinner. All you have sure. to do is heat it up, and you're ready to go. And we also do an herb roasted turkey, which is another fully cooked turkey mm -hmm. that you can just heat up. Um, we do a turkey breast if you have a smaller group and you don't want to, you know, sure. do a whole turkey. Um, we do smoked and raw on those as well. Um, and then, like you were, we were talking earlier, for people who are sick of turkey, um, we have some beautiful um, dry-aged bone-in ribeyes that have been in the cooler for about 60 or 45 days now. They'll be at 75 days by the time. Dry-aged. 75 yep. days. Yeah. The, the this is how we roll around. at the Hayes household. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're having steaks for Thanksgiving. Um, we also have appetizers. Um, you can bring this to your Thanksgiving feast. Mm -hmm. We're doing oysters and a house made mignette you can buy. Oh. Um, so, and then we have um, local pies from Four Birds Bakery. Sure. I said, yeah. hey, we're going to put this video up, and if you like or share that, we're going to do a drawing like we do every week $25 gift card for Smoking Goose. Right? Or goose the market. market. Yep. Goose the market. Yep. There you go. You can actually use it at any of our locations. So like yep. it and share it. Yep. Do it. You know you want to. <laughs> Thank you so much for being Thank here today. You. This is beautiful. Yeah. And I'll be back. Okay. Let's go get my tureen. Okay. <laughs> so that's it. Another episode of Tasting Indie. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Make sure to like and share this. Subscribe to our channel. Appreciate it. That's Tasting Indie.